Morning. Morning. We're at Elsica Park. It's the village that I was brought up in and grown up with and everything. And it's a park that I spent a lot of time in as a very young boy when I had no money. Didn't need any money to go and play in the park. We had a reservoir there, we should go swimming in it. No supervision. Quite amazing, I'm still here really. And we're going to go and have a cup of tea in the tea shop. It's quite brisk today, uh, a little bit chilly. but Yeah, but not freezing cold. It's, it's quite dry, although it's been raining, and there's no snow, which is absolutely fantastic. So Elsica Park, and uh, we'll just video the sign as we walk in. See you later. So the park, we're just on the outskirts of it, there's a building at the top there and there's a, a lovely, absolutely lovely, well-preserved bandstand. And I spent many, many, many hours as a young boy coming here and listening to the bands play. There were bands every weekend and in the summertime, nearly every day, uh, when I was a little boy. In the early, early 60s and late 50s, middle 50s, um, absolutely fantastic place. Uh, as a boy and it's, it's well preserved the council local council do keep the grass tidy and they keep it relatively tidy so that's quite nice to see uh, and we'll film as we go along today local coal mining was uh, managed by a guy called Earl Fitzwilliam they were privately run until nationalization and coal is what drove the industrial revolution in the UK and uh, this stream here looks like a stream it comes from the nearby uh, lake, or as we used to call it, or the... It's the reservoir, you can see the overspill yeah, over there, you the, can see it coming down. The reservoir, and it feeds, it's, it was built to feed the canal, and that's where the water goes underneath this road, now lots of debris in there, and it goes underneath the road to, you can just see the car park, of the Discovery Centre, which was the old uh, Heritage Centre, yeah which was the old um, workshops for the coal mine, which is now gone. Um, absolutely amazing history around here. So this is the uh, bandstand we're coming up to. And there's lots and lots of seating here because in the summer, it's a really pleasant place to come to uh, where you don't have to throw money at anything. And people like to go out these days and throw money at things to get entertainment. But sometimes going for a nice walk in the park to see some nice flowers and meet some nice people say hello to people people actually say hello when you walk past them in Yorkshire they're very friendly either that or they're very nosy I can't work out which one it is but uh, yeah it just brings back memories coming here uh, looking at this bandstand which is still well kept and you do get the occasional brass band playing which is a very English thing heritage thing it's our history nobody can change that and uh, it's fantastic today is uh, winter so at winter there's no leaves on the trees We're so it's January, yeah january mid mid january so it's not as pretty as it is in the summer but it's still nice to come to the park yeah i remember playing on bandstands like that many 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 times yeah I think somebody lives in this tree. <laughs> yeah, it's not good. Yeah, there is a big uh, reservoir here. We never knew when I was a child that it was built before my time to uh, feed the local canal when the canal boats took the coal away to Manchester and places like that, uh, which fed uh, lots of coal to the towns and cities and for the ships in the Royal Navy. 
and that the coal from here went all over the world. And this picture shows what it was like before my time, in the Victorian times, people going swimming in, in there, and the council actually put loads of, uh, brought in loads of sand and made quite a beach. And my grandma used to tell me that when she was a young girl, she used to go ice skating on the uh, reservoir. But I don't think it gets that cold these days. Yeah, this is called uh, the Teapot Cafe in Elsica Park. And we're just going to have a little snack. And uh, looking at the menu, yeah, pretty, pretty good for a little cafe like this. And pretty, pretty damn cheap. We're going to go for something on the specials board over there. I'm going to have cheesy chili chips. Can you believe it? How cheap can you get? And then uh, we're also going to have a pork uh, and stuffing and apple sauce um, sandwich. Sundays only, so that's for that one. And uh, yeah, plenty of people in here. Yeah, and it's, uh, I like to support local businesses really and um, give them a little bit of money. Uh, I know when I was a child, um, this cafe didn't do very well because people never had any money in the old days. And um, I'm glad to support local businesses. As I say, I haven't been here for quite some time. Oh, that was, that was so quick. The tea. Yeah. Uh, that's some sweetness, please. Very, very quick service and lovely. Yeah, well, well done. One seventy-five a cup for a cup of tea. We don't even, we don't even have to get it ourselves. It's delivered by a lovely lady. Uh, that's really good. Yeah. Well, we're quite stuffed now, so we've had something to eat, and we're just going to go for a stroll in the park. And walk it all off. Uh, oh, yeah, hopefully walk it all off, yeah. So, if you've, once you've overeaten, you can come and do some exercises no, thanks. on the outdoor gym. So we're just going to head up to the reservoir now and have a look to see what we can see. <coughs> I must say, we've seen some lovely dogs today. Oh, they've got some ducks and there looks like an awful lot of gulls down here. That wind. It's there's a storm. What's it? Storm Aisha, the next one. So we've got weather warnings from six o'clock tonight for twelve hours of heavy rain and wind. Yeah, it is a bit soft underfoot, isn't it? Actually, feel that cold, does it? It's just very windy, so it brings the uh, the temperature down suddenly, doesn't it? Yeah. And we've got people fishing over there on the bank. Wonder if they ever catch anything decent. 
or what fissure is actually in here. And over to the left, this is the overspill for the reservoir. So when it gets full up, the overspill takes the water down into the stream. And as we've had so much rain recently, all the overspills are actually working. Oh, I've never been down here before. Pretty, um, it is pretty damp underfoot here, a bit muddy. But say we've had some torrential rain recently, followed by some extremely cold weather. Yeah, I, got, I see him, yeah. Lovely, isn't he? Oh, they, they move very quickly when they want to. Another tree come down in, the, in one of the storms. So that's a quick tour of Elsica Park. I do like the gates on the park. I think they're quite elaborate, aren't they? We could... hmm. Just want to see how this works in here. Yeah, oh. Best chance of going there, haven't we? Yeah. Because it's the same shit. It's... But you're not supposed... I'm not paying to go in anyway. I don't need to want pay to... I don't need to wander around. Thank you. 